Hello! So basically I have been looking for ages for something to do with my hair. As you can see it's blonde, it's very very blonde um, and basically it's got into really bad condition so I've had quite a lot of it chopped off but I know that the bleach is the thing that's making it in a bad condition so I wanted to find a look where I could still be quite blonde because it suits me best um, but bleach my hair a lot less. So the thing I've decided on is to go for an ombre dip dye look, um, massively popular at the moment, I know I'm kind of way behind the curve on getting this done. Um, so I decided I was going to try and look at doing it myself after a friend went to a hairdresser and it turned into a complete disaster, she literally had half her head one colour and the rest of it platinum blonde. Um, so. I had a look online to try and find videos of what other people were doing to get their hair to come out really good and I found some awesome videos except for the fact that most of the people making them had dark hair and they wanted to lighten their ends. Um, obviously I have the opposite situation, I have light hair and I need to darken the roots. Um, I want it to look super natural as well and still highlighted and I don't want a severe line of like dark and then light. Um, so I'm going for it myself today, haven't dyed my hair for about like 8 years or so and I thought I'd film it so that if it came out really good then other people would know what I did and how to do it themselves. Um, I know you're probably looking at me at the moment thinking I look a bit of a state but it's because I've just painted my whole stairs and landing so this is not a glamorous video at all. Um, and what I wanted to do was just show at first like what my hair is like. So you can see my roots, they look kind of dark on here, um, they're kind of just a really dark blonde slash mousy brown. Um, you can see here as well where it's highlighted so there's a patch around here where it's got a slightly red tinge to it where I had some actual proper like pillar box red put into it last year it hasn't completely gone. Then most of it's really light except up here I've got some lighter highlights and then I had some more like caramel ones put in last time. So that's my starting point and then underneath it's just exactly the same. Um, and so I was like, what can I do to make this work? So I've got three dyes to sort this out. I have got this Garnier Nutrice one. It is seven, dark blonde. Um, it's the closest shade I could find to my root colour, which on this looks completely different. Um, but honestly, it is quite close. So that's obviously to darken a lot of my hair. Then I've got a middle shade, another Nutrice one. This is 8.3, honey blonde. Um, so that's to be like a more caramel shade and then wait for it I've got a live color XXL and I have gone for 00A absolute platinum like super blonde super blonde um, what I'm gonna do with them is I'm basically trying to make it look quite natural and blend quite well with my hair so the darkest colour this is going to be my main base um, most of my hair is going to turn this colour I'm not, obviously not the whole thing but like you know part way down is going to turn that colour but I've brought the two other ones so I can add highlights in um, to make it blend better with what I've already got so my plan is using my trusty tin foil um, I am going to um, run some highlights through my hair of the honey blonde um, and foil those and that's going to be on the lower part and run a few highlights through as well of the platinum blonde all underneath um, just very few of the platinum blonde actually um, just to blend it in and then basically everything that's not in tin foil is going to get the darker colour um, and that's going to go over it to bring the darkness further down my head um, and then the top section and like around the frame of my face and everything I'm going to be much more careful with my highlights because obviously everyone can see them so I'm going to do it properly like the hairdresser and pick little bits of my hair up out with um, a tail comb um, and kind of do the same thing except basically it's all going to be kind of highlights there's not just going to be splodging on the dark colour so I'm going to get cracking on it now um, I'm really quite nervous I'm hoping it's going to be all right and once it's all kind of washed out and everything I'm going to come back and I'm going to let you know how it went um, exactly what I did and you can have a look at it and judge for yourselves whether or not you'd ever want to consider doing this okay okay so as you can see I have my hair tied up it's not gone exactly to plan um, essentially what happened is the dark dye didn't take at all so I think I'm pretty much stuck with my super blonde hair unless I want to go dark nothing seems to stick in it so you can see here down the side um, it's slightly darker where it was dark before 
so that really hasn't helped um, at all and in the light it's got a slight red tinge to it so that's also not the desired effect um, the blonde bits have gone just you can't really see on here but they've gone ever so slightly kind of grey um, where the brown started to take but only took a tiny bit so lucky me I got the grey tinge um, I've got my hair swept back in this kind of sideways way because the um, root area along my centre parting is the worst bit it's because that's where I put the most highlights in of the lighter colours so the highlights kind of show but the super platinum XXL dye doesn't really bring your hair out that blonde in fact um, you might be able to see here it kind of looks a bit blonde on here but it is more gingery this power streak that is in my quiff actually sits right either side of my centre parting so couldn't look much worse if I tried um, other than that as you can see the rest of my hair is pretty much exactly as it was before I did it so I've just wasted a couple of hours and wasted like 20 quid on hair dye and the kit and everything that I used to do it um, and wish I had just left it alone or if I really really wanted to change it I wish I'd gone to the hairdressers so my advice to you is if you have blonde hair and you want to go for the ombre look you definitely need to go and see a hairdresser you pay a bit more but there is a really obvious reason for that uh, see you later hopefully next time with a more successful story